Hey there, I apologize in advance for the bad audio. Uh, I may have to reinstall Windows. I don't know what exactly is going on with this. I've tried reinstalling the drivers, but I'm getting this occasional cutout. It'll just, it'll, y'all be talking and you and then it'll cut out for just a second and then come back again. So I apologize in advance for the cutting out audio. I don't know what's causing it. It's, it's happened ever since I moved up to here. I'm hoping that there's not anything going wrong with my actual audio interface. Um, but we'll see. So anyway, I'm just looking at uh, where I used to live, just sort of reminiscing. This was the place right here. Now I think this is before they, uh, I think this might be an old set of images, but who knows. But uh, here's the place I lived. Um, I, I miss Eureka so much, oh my god. Now one thing that's, that's the reason why I'm going to this view is a negative side to Eureka. Even though I talk about a number of the positive things, a negative side was at night when you're looking at this view. You could see people walking in and out of people's yards. You know, sometimes six, seven, maybe even eight people walking back and forth, walking into, into people's yards to see if there's something they could find to steal. They didn't, there wasn't much actual breaking into houses for things, but uh, they would certainly uh, try to find things that were laying around. So, if you wanted to make sure that anything that you had in the yard was secured. So when I had the adult trike with a basket on it so I could try to put, put groceries in it because I didn't have a vehicle and it was kind of a waste of money because man you had to you have to push so hard on those pedals um, anyway yeah I should have gotten a bi a regular bicycle uh, one that wasn't hot like uh, the bike that I did initially get a regular bicycle and uh, put a little get a little trailer to have the groceries in but you know, live and learn I guess that was an expensive lesson and I would uh, I would chain it to either this tree or this tree in the yard so anyway and if we go this way let's see wow they let you they go down a little alley really okay well all right, here was the place where I got the uh, the uh, trike assembled. Um, right here, a little red lion cocktail lounge. That's where I uh, would do karaoke quite a bit. Miss that place. And right about. Yeah, let's zoom in a little more. Here we go. Usually, yeah, usually sitting right around here, there would be the uh, a couple homeless people that uh, that I'd have a lot of conversations with. They helped me out one time uh, when that when I got the uh, tricycle in the box. Uh, one of them helped me move the box over to the. Uh, uh, oh, there's some right there. Um, they helped me move that box to uh, the place that I got it assembled, and I I, uh, I gave them like I, I can't remember was it a ten or a twenty because I, I just wouldn't have been able to do it myself. It was just way too heavy, and uh, the bike shop wasn't willing to pick it up for me or anything. So anyway, um, yeah, I wonder if those are some of the same people, but they were really nice. And uh, now some of the people working at Subaru, there's some guy who had, you know, of course, wearing the, the full suit and tie. Um, yeah, if you if you tried talking to him, he didn't give you and he, he wouldn't give you the time of day. So. Uh, but, you know, used car salesman. So what do you expect? Right. So. Let's see here. Where is that place? Come on, where is it? I thought I, I thought it'd be 
I'm looking for the shanty. Okay, there's Siren's Song. Shanty, there it is. All right. This was my favorite place right here. I tell you. The shanty was great. I loved that place. They got us a bunch of pictures of it in here. Come on. Go to it. There we go. Let's look at some of the photos. So, uh, yes, it really was this eclectic and crazy and awesome. Total mixture of people. Um, uh, I just loved it there. Definitely my favorite hangout. And they had some spots outside, too. Oh, yes, they're, they're crazy... Uh, crazy bathroom that they had tiny tiny little room and, and graffiti all around anyway um, let's try to find the uh, uh, outdoor pics okay here's one this is this is actually kind of it's their back patio and they had some of it some of it was covered so they could have the pool tables there and uh, that, that one's still inside here's here's some more of the outside area and it was just it was it was a blast that 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 place was just great miss that a lot there's another place called siren song where am i okay where is it there it is siren song tavern and there they had uh they had a meetup where it was a uh, sort of a and that was cool. A lot of fun there. And uh, something I remember doing here quite a bit was uh, I would go down to the uh... Am I in the wrong area? I am in the wrong area. Okay. Yes, there it is. That's better. I was like, that didn't look right. Okay. I would come down here. Big hill down to the, uh, to this area. I, I go down to here at night, middle of the night, and I'd walk along, uh, walk along th this area here. Often find a few people uh, camping out in tents right out around this edge here. And, uh, but the, the view right, right here, man, the view right here, when you would stand and look at the bridge at night and just, just the, the way the, this whole area looked, it, I, I, I don't know why it was so awesome, but it was, I, I enjoyed just hanging out there and it was so serene and relaxing and, and awesome. I, I walked so many places out here. If I lived out here again, I would still walk to a lot of places. Um, not all of them, though. <laughs> uh, getting groceries was a pain. Because you didn't want to carry so many groceries that you were in, in seriously encumbered. Um, I could go to, to Target, but their groceries there were really limited. So the place I usually ended up going, okay, here's the place that I lived, and I would go to Grocery Outlet. That was about a 20-minute walk. Um, it was always just way too far to go to Costco. Their bus system would, uh, on weekends, for instance, would uh, stop at 5 p.m. and stop running. It's like, wow, all right. Um, but there's a Costco there. If you go further and go to towards the mall, you've got a Walmart there. That was a long ass walk though. It's like it was. It's just just to the the uh, Costco. It's a you know forty minute walk, and that is a reminder to take my medication. If you're wondering what that sound was, Winco Foods. This is the place you want to go for groceries. Winco Foods is awesome. In any location, they low prices, good, uh, 
just all around a great place. Um, probably my favorite grocery store, just just anywhere. They had some in Washington too. Um, not had, have. Um, the way I'd always take to get to uh, to Walmart would I would always uh, go down here and go down this instead of walking all, all to the mall from the street I'd take this other route and uh, go along this sort of a trail and uh, I'd go to you know the mall this way sometimes I'd walk a little further and, and go you know a little more towards the water I loved that I just loved that I loved this whole area really I did really I did um just about everyone you 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 would talk to it, they, it was friendly just 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 very very friendly place I never got to go with but I wanted to was to can you continue going this way here's uh, uh Indian Island but that's not the place though it would still be neat to look at that um I wanted to go to the beaches I wanted to go you know down in here there's some more beach there's some pictures of it it's not the best looking beach um, but still some some uh, some neat stuff any beach really though it's it's just relaxing truly very relaxing I I loved going to ocean shores and in, uh, in Washington um, let me see here um, I didn't have to really worry about ticks now if I went if I started going kind of deep into into the, these forest areas then I'd have to worry about ticks but up in here yeah not so much there is a nice little park um, right in here yeah Eureka uh, oh, there's Eureka skate park and yeah, I, I, yeah, there's the, I remember the skate park, and then I'd continue and go into here. Where was that? Well, it must be just right in here. There's just this little cluster of forest just in here. I would, uh, I would go to quite a bit. Loved it. Um, I don't know. I, I just, I loved this place. Loved this place so much, and if I if I'm driving, if I'm driving, you know, to go to where is it now? Ah, I lost where it was. Ah, grocery outlet. There it is. If I went to grocery outlet, and that would be a really uh, short drive. What three minutes maybe? Let's see. Click on this choose starting point. Click on the click on the starting point. Yeah, four minutes, four minutes, five minutes, and uh, if I was to go to uh, Costco, Costco would be six minutes, seven minutes. If I went to uh, if I went to Walmart, nine minutes, ten minutes, you know, that's about how long it takes for me to get to uh, to the Walmart now. So I mean, you know, where I'm living now. So I mean, just I I, I would just love to go back here. It's going to take a lot to uh, to keep me here. Well, if I if I end up having to stay here longer than I anticipated in order to save up more money, then you know, fine. But I'm hoping one way or another I can maybe get a little bit of help in the move. And hopefully by that time, you know, if I need to actually rest in the van, I can do it. I won't have to have a CPAP machine anymore because by that time I should be, uh, I'm hoping by that time I'll be, you know, around 180 pounds. Somewhere between 160 and 180 pounds. That's my goal weight. 
and uh, I won't have to use a CPAP anymore. So I could I could sleep in the van and, and make it a much less expensive trip. And at least I know now for sure, you know, what it takes to, to drive for that long. Um, and I know for sure, too, that I, I am never, unless I was doing something to make quite a bit more money consistently, um, I would never be able to, uh, I'll never be able to have my own place like this again. It's just not going to happen. I will always have to have, it'll probably be at least two other roommates. That's just going to be the way it is. Um, and that's fine. And by that time, I should, uh, here, let's, let's, uh, let's expand this. Okay. Oh, come on. There. Yeah, by that time, I should probably uh, have learned a lot of the things that I need to learn out of living alone. You know, some of, some of the things are just some of the simple stuff. What if I let this, what if I go laxed on, on doing this? Oh, that's what happens. Lots of those kinds of lessons. So it just so it doesn't seem as much of a chore of uh, oh I need to follow these rules no no it's I need to do these things in order to keep this place nice you know lots of that so now you know there's there is still a chance that being here in Shimokin maybe I will make some more friends but I'm not really seeing it very much because there's 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 just nowhere to go. Um, Tim Tim has been cool. I plan on hanging out with him quite a bit. Um, he's cool in a number of ways. Uh, Tim and his wife, and uh, you know, at least there will be Tim as I'm here. But as for making more friends out here, I'm I'm just not seeing it that much. I'm just, just. But we'll see. We'll find out. You know. I just wish there were there were some common places for people to go. Um. One of the ones that ends up getting listed is uh, oh look Dunkin' Donuts. Let's hang out at Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. <laughs> You know, there's a lot of things I can say, oh, I wish I would have known, I wish I would have known. Well, I didn't know. I didn't know. This this whole thing has been a huge learning experience for me. So anyway, you've you've if you've made it through this whole video, thanks.